Watch Dr. Drew's new show at 9 on HLN. Weeknights on HLN. Joining me to discuss this are Ann Lopez. She was married to comedian George Lopez for 17 years, and they are in a process of a divorce. And Kevin Frazier, he is the host of The Insider. Kevin, give us what we know so far. Well, what we know is that she's moved out of the house. And the interesting part about this is that we aren't getting a lot of details, but we are seeing a lot of clues. Like that video we just saw from March 28th, Maria didn't have on her wedding ring. At the time, we thought, no big deal. She doesn't have on her wedding ring. She's just going through a tough time. We didn't look at the clues. And now what's emerging is there are reports that she's wanted to get divorced or, or at least leave this relationship for two years now. I will tell you this. As a Lakers season ticket holder, I saw Maria here all the time with the kids. And it was interesting because you thought, why isn't she in Sacramento more with Arnold? Why aren't they together more? But they've been living separate lives, it looks like, for quite some time. Well, what I'm not hearing much speculation about is why the separation. There's rumors about him misbehaving sure. from the past. There's rumors about her not being, like you're saying, living with him while he was uh, pursuing his political career. What do we think? Well, the first thing is that, you know, sure, he wants to go back into the movies and he wants to pursue that. And also, as we've heard, she doesn't know what she's going to do. But, Drew, I think the most important thing to take out of all of this is that in the past, there's been infidelity. Yeah. And we don't know if they've ever fixed that. And then remember, in a, in a very short time period, she lost her mother, her beloved uncle, and then she loses her father. Mm. That was in a short time span. So all that happens, it makes you reevaluate life. Yeah, I think And call, I think that call, could be what's going on, it too. It could be. Calling it a transition is really a euphemism. Now, Anne, yes. one of the reasons I was excited to have you here is that, <laughs> well, no, but, but you broke up after 17 years. Right. And, and I'm used to the world I work in. People break up usually after shorter marriages right. or for right. very specific reasons that are sort of recalcitrant. Again, that's mm -hmm. in my world. Mm -hmm. And so when you hear about a 25-year marriage or a 17-year marriage, that's not what you think of as a couple that's likely to break up. So do you have anything to share about your own experience that could shed light on hers? Well, I think um, 25 years shouldn't be looked at as a failure. Well, you that's know, true. Tw you know, right. they made it 25 years in a very difficult and high-powered industry, which is Hollywood and politics. Plus, they dated 11 years before that, so this is 36 years of a union. Maria was very young when she started dating Arnold. Uh -huh. They waited 11 years before they got married. Um, it is a transition. It is a transition. I can say in my own life, I lost my mother about three months before um, my marriage broke up. And it, it does make you reevaluate a lot of things. And she lost three people. Yes. So, um, so, so you think all those losses made her step back and maybe think, am I happy? Is this really working, this relationship? You know, those kinds I don't, of things? I don't think anyone really knows what's going on behind closed doors. We don't right now. <laughs> so we're trying to speculate. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the, and in no, fact, that it's been 25 I, years for the weird. Know, but I think, yes, I think when you have death of your parents, and especially her uncle was like a father, yeah. um, I think it does. I think you, you start to reevaluate what you start to see your mortality and what do I want out of life what makes me happy is this still working for me and those are questions that um, at any time of your life but especially when you've been married that long I think maybe the kids are getting older they're more independent well, a lot yeah, of different reasons. Really interesting, Anne, because you're, you're, you're saying, so the kids are gone now. She has subjugated her career to right. him. And, and let's not forget, he's also out of office now. And she did what many people are saying the right thing, stuck by him while he was in office. This didn't come out while he was in office and could have really hurt either a run, a second run, which he had, that yeah. second term, or just even his legacy. He had enough to deal with in California. He didn't need that. I will tell you real quick, Drew, I visited the, uh, the governor's office in 2007, and while I was there, I walked around with Maria. We talked, and I told her I was married for a second time, and she said to me, when she walked in with Arnold, she said, he's one of those people. It's his second marriage. And they chuckled. Uh, was that a warning for Arnold? I don't know. I wonder I don't what know. that was. was. To this moment, I haven't figured that moment out.